what's going on YouTube this is Ultima I device vids in this video I wanted to give you guys some more news regarding the jailbreak situation and status for iOS 8.2 and I know I did make two other of these videos but news just keeps coming out so I want to keep you guys fully updated of course on what's going on right now regarding this new jailbreak and the first thing I'm going to be talking about in just a second with you is Taiji's uh, mobile security summit MSS they did uh, have it on Friday, they held the event, and a lot of people were expecting that they were going to release an iOS 8.2 jailbreak at this event. Unfortunately, that did not happen, and I'm going to be discussing that, of course. And they also did release a new statement on their website discussing iOS 8.2 and the jailbreak situation for it. And of course, I'm going to discuss that as well. Also, Tiny Umbrella, which is the program that allows you to save something called your SHSH files, was updated and has a new feature. And I'm going to, of course, talk to you about what that new feature allows you to do. And with all those things being said, let's get right into this update video. All right, and again, first up, I want to talk to you guys about Taiji's Jailbreaking Convention, MSS, Mobile Security Summit. So they did hold it, again, on March 27th, and various famous people from the jailbreaking community were there. For example, Comax, who's someone who's been working on jailbreaks for a very long time. You know, he worked on the famous Jailbreak Me tool for iOS 4 and POSIX Ninja, who's a member of the Chronic Dev team, you know, which is a team that's worked on jailbreaks on iOS 4 and 5. Chronic, someone who's been in the community for a very long time. Pimskex, a member of the Vaders, and the Vaders brought us the iOS 7.0.x and the iOS 6.x jailbreak. And again, this event is when they all come together and talk about jailbreaking. And again, it was held, and unfortunately, there was no jailbreak released at this event. Now, the reason for that is, you know, it was kind of unknown at, in the beginning. However, they did release a statement on their website, which basically does explain why, and basically just tells us that the jailbreak was not ready as far as I could tell. And if you go to their website, at the bottom of the page, you will see this message. And it basically just explains what happened. And basically the interesting part is, is it says, the development and release of a jailbreak tool was restricted to several factors. However, what Taiji team wanted is to release the jailbreak for iOS 8.2 as soon as possible. And the line that's interesting to me is that it says it was restricted to several factors. You know, from my perception, at least, that sounds like that the jailbreak was not ready and they still have some things to do with it. However, they could be waiting for the release of iOS 8.3 to release this jailbreak. And the reason behind that is whenever a jailbreak is released, the exploits that the jailbreak uses in order to, of course, jailbreak the device are disclosed to the public. And basically, as soon as that happens, Apple will go and look at them and then they'll most likely patch them in the next version of iOS. So, you know, if they did release the 8.2 jailbreak, let's say right now, if they had it, which we don't even know that they do, you know, most likely in iOS 8.3, the jailbreak would be patched, and then we'd be back to square one in theory, basically. We'd be back exactly where we are right now without a jailbreak for the latest version of iOS. So it would be smarter for them to wait for the release of iOS 8.3 and then release the jailbreak right when 8.3 is released, and then it'll be available for a long time, and of course for a higher iOS version with you know better stability and bug fixes, features, etc. And that's what a lot of people have been saying, you know, since after the event. However, something that does slightly contradict that in my opinion is they do say they want to release the jailbreak as soon as possible, as you can see. So when they say that, it kind of makes it sound like they would have just released it if they had it. However, who knows, maybe, you know, maybe that's just my interpretation of it and maybe they do have it and maybe they're just waiting. Uh, basically, we'll just have to see. However, if you asked me, you know, my best bet, my best opinion on this, I would say that they currently don't have it and they're still working on it. Now, that's not necessarily bad, you know, these things just take time, so in the future we'll definitely be seeing it, but from what I can tell, they do not have it, and it still needs some more work. They still need to find some new exploits, etc., work on the jailbreak some more. However, again, I could be wrong, and they could already have it, and they could just be waiting for iOS 8.3 to release it. But again, only time will tell. And of course, I'll keep you guys fully updated on the status of the jailbreak for iOS 8.2 in the future. Um, whoever releases it, whenever it gets released, of course, I will be sure to make a tutorial showing you how to do it here on my channel. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys are curious when iOS 8.3 is supposed to be released, it should be released towards the end of April or the beginning of May. And again, why iOS 8.3 is significant is because, you know, Taiji or whoever who may release the next jailbreak may wait until iOS 8.3 to release their jailbreak in order to preserve exploits. And as far as an ETA for the entire jailbreak release is concerned, whenever it may come out, my best bet would probably be 
uh, towards the end of April or the beginning of May, you know, just like the release of iOS 8.3. And it would make sense that they would wait till then to release it for iOS 8.3. And also, just based off of, you know, previous jailbreaks that I've seen be released in the past, generally that's how long it takes for these things to happen. Obviously, I have no idea what's going on, you know, as far as exploits and the internal, you know, internal situation of iOS right now as far as, you know, exploits and hacking. However, again, just based off of the past and what I've seen, I would generally say this jailbreak will probably be released again somewhere in the range of, you know, end of April, beginning of May. But again, I could be wrong. We're just going to have to see. Next up is Tiny Umbrella. So this is the program that allows you to save your SHSH files. In my last 8.2 situation jailbreak update video, I did uh, show you guys how to use Tiny Umbrella to save the SHSH files that Apple is currently signing. And if you're confused on what I'm talking about, make sure you watch the other video because I explained what SHSH files are in that video. I should have put a link to it in the description down below. So go ahead and watch that video and then come back here. And in that video, I did say that the developer of Tiny Umbrella would eventually update Tiny Umbrella to fetch the SHSH files that your device is currently running on. And that has happened. And he did make a new blog post. And basically what he does say in this blog post is that you're able to fetch SHSH files from your device now. However, it doesn't work on all devices. It only works on the newer devices, also known as A7 and A8 devices. And that's the processors in them. And here's the devices that it does work with. iPhone 5S, iPad Air, iPad Mini 2, the Retina version, uh, the iPad Mini 3, also Retina, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, and the iPad Air 2. However, this does not work on the lower devices. So that being the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 5, the iPod Touch 5th generation, the iPad 2nd generation, the iPad 3rd generation, or the iPad mini 1st generation. It does not work on those devices, unfortunately. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, it also does not work with the iPhone 5C, unfortunately. And the circumstance that this is useful in is if you're running iOS 8.1.2, 8.1.1, 8.1, 8.0.2, 8.0.1, 8.0, any version of iOS that is jailbreakable that is no longer signed, you can now save the SHSH files for that version. So in the future, you may have the ability to downgrade to that version. Unfortunately, the tool does not allow you to downgrade to you know your SHSH files as of right now. However, in the future, um, from what I've heard, it looks like we're going to be able to do that. You know, There's been some very promising tweets, which again, I've covered in my other update video, which is linked in the description. There's been some promising tweets that the developer has uh, posted basically saying that um, it's going to be possible in the future to use your SHSH files. So for example, my iPhone 6 Plus here is running iOS 8.0.2 and I am jailbroken. And of course, this is a jailbreakable iOS version, obviously, because I'm jailbroken. And you know now what I can do now, thanks to this new version of Tiny Umbrella, is plug my device into Tiny Umbrella and save the SHSH files for iOS 8.0.2 in case I want to use them in the future. And in my other video, you know, my other update video that I've been referencing throughout this entire video, I do show how to use Tiny Umbrella. However, the process to save SHSH files directly on your device is slightly different, but I'm not going to do an entire segment because it's very similar. I'm just going to quickly walk you through what you need to do. The first thing you need to do is open up Cydia on your device, so your device does need to be jailbroken, and you need to install something in Cydia called Apple File Conduit 2. The spelling for that will be in the description down below. Make sure you get it right, and again, install that from Cydia. After you've done that, connect your device to your computer through the USB cable, open Tiny Umbrella, and this time what you want to do is you want to right-click on your device's name in the side of Tiny Umbrella, and all you need to do is click Fetch On Board. And after you click Fetch On Board, uh, the SHSH files will be saved for the version that your device is currently running. It's that simple. And after that process, of course, you could unplug your device, and then you could uninstall the Apple File Conduit 2 file from Cydia if you do not want it installed. And what the Apple File Conduit 2 file allows is it allows your computer to access the root file system of your device so it could fetch the SHSH files from it. And that's all the news that I have for this video. And I'm sorry if I disappointed any of you. I'm sure a lot of you guys were hoping that this jailbreak was already out or that it would be coming soon. And trust me, I'm right there with you. But, you know, we just don't know that much at this point. You know, I told you the facts that we know. And also, I gave you my predictions for the future. And also, I did uh, start a new filming style in this video. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments what you think of this new style. And also, if you found this video helpful, make sure to like it and subscribe to this channel. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Uh, like my Facebook page, and added me to Google+. And again, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.